And I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break Hey guys, welcome back again. Dave's Dementia, welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. Start back in for another unbox. What is it? Well, uh, one of our fellow YouTubers, uh, anyone who's in the toy community, um, you know, might have heard of Joseph Michaels, aka Adventurous Joe. Well, he actually acquired a couple figures, and he hit me up. He knew that I was on the lookout for a figure, a particular figure, and he hooked me up. He sent me uh, this very special uh, figure. Now, I'm going to let you guys see what it is. Um, so, this is one I've been looking for. I haven't found it in any of my stores. There is a NECA version of this character, but honestly, I think Mattel killed it way better than NECA did. Uh, at least based on the reviews I've seen and the pictures I've seen online. At least that's my opinion. I did see this figure in a NECA, NECA, uh, in a NECA shelf at a Target. I looked at it. It didn't look that great. So that's why I passed on it. But thanks to Joseph Michaels, we got it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump over into overview mode so you guys can see the box and see my reaction. Let's do this. This is going to be a quick unbox. Well, opening up the box. I don't know if I'm going to open up the figure yet. Okay, guys. So we're going to rip right into this. Yes, I'm covering up the addresses because I don't want anyone to see his address or my address. If anyone ever wants to ship to me, uh, you can always, uh, if you want to ship something to me or maybe... Uh, do an exchange of some kind you guys can always hit me up on my socials right there at the bottom of the screen we got my instagram my twitter and you can always hit me up on my email of dave's dimension 78 at gmail.com and this is not the first time i've gotten something from uh joseph michaels he does a hell of a job when it comes to packing so let's rip this right open we have a Z-Box right here. The old school newspapers, you got to appreciate that. Sunday morning paper looks it. There we go. And bubble wrap. You got to appreciate that. He does not play around. So let's move this box out of the way because this is a perfectly great box. Who knows, maybe I will repurpose this box for a... Uh, a giveaway because we got a few uh we got a few giveaways coming up guys so and he tapes it too you gotta love that so what do we get we got the that's right wwe mattel hollywood collection roddy piper but this is the john nada from they live Let's take a look at that box is in pretty good shape now you guys know i'm an out of box collector however i'm highly highly tempted to crack this bad boy open i mean when i saw pictures of the they live john nada i was stoked i was like yeah i'm gonna have to get that but then wwe decided with their Mattel licensing or Mattel with their WWE licensing that they had to go ahead and do this. So I had to get this guys. Um, they live is a John Carpenter movie from the eighties. It's a very awesome, very kind of political in a way, uh, kind of a movie. And it says right here in the back of the box, Rowdy Roddy Piper is John Nada. I was a big wrestling fan in the eighties and nineties. Um, Roddy Piper was one of my favorites. Rowdy Roddy Piper screamed to the uh, screamed to the WWE universe just when you, they think they have all the answers. I changed the questions, but the world found out what happens when he's all out of bubble gum. 
in the cult classic action movie They Live as the first WWE superstar to star in a major motion picture that opens number one at the box office. Hot Rod paved the road to Hollywood uh, for superstars we see on the big screen today. And of course, right there, the features we got Roddy, we got John Cena, and we got The Rock. Uh, now, Roddy broke onto the scene in a lot of movies uh, in the early 80s. Um, there was a movie called Body Slam. Uh, that was one of them. I mean, he appeared, he's appeared in so many um, various movies, TV shows. He even played an immortal on the TV series Highlander in the uh, early to mid 90s. Um, but, I mean, They Live is a cult classic. It's John Carpenter. You know, he's basically a drifter who's trying to find work. And he stumbles across this kind of a, like, I guess you could call it like a makeshift kind of ghetto. And he meets another guy. They kind of sl slowly, loosely, you know, they're co-workers. They're loosely become friends. But then they stumble across this crazy, crazy, insane situation where um, there's kind of a revolution happening. Not the kind you're thinking of. There's these people that have found out that there's a secret. Kind of a brainwashing alien kind of thing. There's these alien creatures who are slowly trying to brainwash people with subliminal messaging. The only thing is you can't see the aliens or the true messaging unless you're wearing sunglasses. Like the glasses he's wearing right in this picture. Right? And him and his, his, his buddy, you know, they're trying to, once they find out about this, they're trying to basically bring the truth out as it were there's and and on the back here they, they kind of reference that he's all out of bubble gum because at one point he walks into a bank he's got a shotgun he's like i'm i'm here to chew bubble gum and kick ass and guess what i just ran out of bubble gum <laughs> you know it's if you're if you love action movies and you love 80s or 90s action movies you gotta watch they live it's not so much sci-fi it's more action but so many people that they have in here are tremendous. I mean, it's a cult classic. It's a movie every action fan should watch. And it's got one of the, it's got one of the best uh, fighting scenes because at first John Adarati and his buddy the, they they have this awesome, insane, long ass fight in an alley, and it's one of the most realist fights you'll ever see. I mean. They're beating the hell out of each other. I mean, literally, it looks like a legitimate real fight. I mean, not all the punches and kicks are landing solid. I mean, you know, if if you've ever been in a real fight, we, you, you know it's not like the movies, right? You know, you're going to stumble over things. You're going to fall down. You know, you and the other person fighting you, it's not like Jean-Claude Van Damme uh action movies you know it's like you're stumbling you know you try and throw a punch the person kind of moves and you know they're knocking right back into you you're being caught off guard it's one of the most realist fights in my opinion Mo one of the most genuine fights let's just say you gotta watch it guys um but yeah i got this figure if you can grab this figure i highly recommend it i have not opened him yet because guess what guys i want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, should I open it or should I keep him in box? I'm really tempted to keep him in box. There are a few figures that I don't open up. I have some of these Ghostbuster fight fi fright figures. I have the whole set, including the two variants, and I've kept them in the box. I've had them for months. I have an Ectotron Afterlife Edition. Still in the box. I've had this almost maybe a year now. Still in the box. There are some occasional things I keep sealed. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should open him up and display him? Or should I keep him in the box? I'm kind of tempted to keep him in the box. The box is in pretty good shape. I mean, is it 100% perfect? I mean, you got a little bit of... I mean, your, your basic wear and tear from it hanging... But for the most part, the box is in pretty pristine condition. Um, here's the question. 
Do I open him up? Do I keep him in a box? Or do I also keep him in a box and maybe get a case for him to be protected in? I mean, Roddy's one of my favorites. I mean, Rowdy, Roddy Piper. I mean, he's he's a legend in wrestling. He's, you know, can I say he's an action in action? He's a legend in action movies? Eh, I can't really say that. But he's an awesome guy. I mean, he definitely was an amazing entertainer in sports, in wrestling, and in movies. Um, I mean, it's 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 Piper. I mean, Piper's pit from wrestling. I mean, Rowdy Roddy Piper. I mean, he was he he was a legend, guys. It's that simple. He's one of my favorites, and I have him. And this is actually the only wrestling figure I actually own now. And big thanks to uh, Joseph Michaels for this. Um, now I just got to find a good spot to uh, display him. If you guys notice, I have some cubes back there. So um, got plenty of spots for him. I just got to get some more lighting up there for displays. But yeah, um, I'm so glad that I finally have uh, Roddy Piper. And I mean, the shirt, I mean, just looking at the box here, guys. The shirt detail that they have here. Let me switch over. The detail that they have on this shirt here, I mean, that is the pattern from the picture is perfect with what he has on there. Um, I mean, the hinges on here, um, it looks really good here. And they do give you, they do give you some extra hands, their fists. Now, it would have been cool if they somehow could have got the license for uh, the other actor who does the fight scene with him. And that was Keith David. Uh, if you don't know him, um, he's a pretty well-known actor. Uh, he's voiced so many different characters. Uh, those who are uh, childhood, uh, same age range as me. I mean, I'm 43. Um, he's voiced Spawn from the HBO animated series. He was the voice of Goliath from Gargoyles. I mean, he's one of those prolific actors. Uh, and you see him or you hear his voice, you just know the guy. Let me see if I can pull it up here very quickly. So right here, Keith David, or uh, uh, yeah, Keith David. I mean, you hear his voice, and let's take a look at his IMDb. I mean, this guy, uh, he was never in wrestling, but if they did a figure, it would just be just be phenomenal. I mean, he's done so many movies. There he is, and they live. This is the John. I mean, John Carpenter, the guy who brought us Michael Myers and Halloween or Escape from New York. This is the guy. John Carpenter is still kicking, guys. He's still out there. He's still making movies. And he scored the soundtrack, too. This is the picture of the two of them after the fight. Because he wants Keith David to wear these sunglasses. And he won't. He thinks that Roddy's crazy. And they have this big knockout fight, which is just... It's just an insane fight. And I love it. Here's some other pictures. That's commercial. There you go. They live... That's the aliens right there. You've probably seen uh, NECA has come out with some of those aliens. There's some Funko Pops with these aliens out there. It's just an awesome movie. I love the tagline. You see them on the street. You watch them on TV. You might even vote for one this fall. You think there are people just like you? You're wrong. Dead wrong. It's an awesome movie. I can't speak enough to it, guys. But, again, this, I'm, I'm blown away. I have this in my collection now. But what do I do? Do I open it up, let him breathe, like so many others, or do I keep him in box? Maybe find even a some kind of case to protect him in because it's Roddy, man. There is only one Rowdy Roddy Piper. There will only ever be one Rowdy Roddy Piper. Contrary to some some uh, female uh, former UFC fighters who turn wrestlers who like to wear his colors, but yeah, I can't hate I can't hate on Ronda. I just can't, I just can't, uh, Ronda Rousey is who I'm speaking of, but, uh, yeah, I got this and who knows, is this going to be gateway drug? Am I going to be shifting into wrestling? I don't know, but guys, please let me know in the comment section below. Do I open him up or do I protect him for all of time? Let me know in the comment section below guys. And guys, if you have any suggestions, if now I'm a big, I'm a big movie person. Now, there was a wrestler that I saw once, uh, or a figure that I forget his name, but a few, few of my colleagues, a few of my fellow YouTubers had mentioned 
that they think that I would have liked that figure. Uh, he kind of had a Marty McFly kind of outfit. Um, I forgot that person's name. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but if you guys know who I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section below. And if you know any way or any online retailers or anyone who has one in box, let me know in the comment section below or hit me up on my Instagram or my, or my Twitter. Hit me up on those socials and let me know, guys. We got a lot of crazy stuff happening in the channel very soon. Excuse me. We got a lot of craziness happening within the next month for the channel. We have the Stream for the Cure, which all the details are in the video description below. That is a charity fundraising event I'm doing for Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Institute, where we are going to be giving away eight separate mystery boxes. That's eight prize wheels. Each mystery box is going to be themed. There's going to be a Funko box, which is going to have four, four Funko Pops in them. We have a McFarlane box, which is going to have two figures in it. We have a Transformer Commander class that we're giving away. We have a Gundam box, which is going to have two Gundam kits and a Gundam tool kit in one box. In one box, guys. That's just the tip of the iceberg, guys. You see all this stuff behind me? Well, not all of it's being given away, but a good chunk of it is being given away. We have two Star Wars Black Series boxes that are being given out. And there's going to be about, on average, about three box, three figures a piece in each box that were given away, guys. Yeah, I'm going crazy because I want to try and raise as much money as possible for Roswell Park Cancer Institute. It's a tremendous cause. It's something near and dear to, to me, my friends, and my family. We want to make a difference, guys. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a big, massive eight-hour stream, one box given away each hour. At least that's the plan. Plans do change, but we'll see what happens. And also, the grand prize is going to be, the final wheel is going to be a hot toy being donated by John Joker, the hot father himself. You guys don't want to miss out. All the details are in the video description below. So please, any questions, any concerns, hit me up on my socials right there at the bottom of the screen. And guess what, guys? That's the video. Tell me what you think. Do you think he's a hit and a, miss, a hit or a miss? Do you think I did pretty well? Again, big thanks to Joseph Michaels for helping me out, for giving me my, my Roddy Piper. Uh, it's, you know, it's awesome. I mean, as a kid, personally, I couldn't afford any real toys when I was younger. I had a couple G.I. Joes. I had a few Transformers. Um, but guess what? This is my first wrestling figure ever in my entire life because... Hell, we just didn't have the money. And that's why as an adult, you know, you kind of you, you kind of want to get these things because it brings back memories, you know, kind of kind of makes you feel like a kid again, you know, and you have a little bit more of a final respect for it, guys. So there we are, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you got comments, questions, concerns, always hit me up in the comment section below. My social is right there at the bottom. And if you're not a part of the dimension, why don't you hit that red button? Hit that bell for notifications and become a part of the dimension, guys. So, you guys know what I'm going to say. I say it every time. Keep on busting. And guess what? I will always catch you on the flip side. Take care. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell?